Studies tell us that it's really important to instill a servant heart in children when they're young so that when they're older, they still have that servant heart. So in Grace Kids Ministry, there's a few things we do to try to cultivate that. Probably the biggest thing we do is SOS each summer, which stands for Serving Our Savior. And that's when we take our preteen group of kids out into the community and we begin to let them experience hands-on service projects. So they have a little bit of an introduction to that before they graduate to our gummy program. Each month, our group travels down to the Argentine district of KCK and does work with partnerships that we've established there. And then also each month we do a um, service night at the Center of Grace. And funding is important because again, it helps cover um, any meals that we share as a group, but also it allows us to provide um, a small budget towards the project that we are assisting with so we can provide supplies. We are able to help cover uh, with the funds provided by this congregation. Open your eyes to the things that you see in Grace Notes and in the bulletin, and there are lots of opportunities. And if you really like one-on-one -on -one things, you know there's always Center of Grace, where they need you to work with children, where they need you to help with Boys and Girls Club and with community dinners and with the clothing closet, the medical closet. There are so many opportunities. On Sunday mornings when we can, we also uh, institute some service projects. Our preschool class, our leaders are so good. One of the main reasons we serve snacks in our preschool class is so that they can begin to teach those children the concept of serving each other, even simply with a snack. Another thing that you're gonna hear a lot about is Project 1020 this fall. It's the first time we've done that, and that's to help a homeless shelter that goes on during the winter time in Johnson County. And they need volunteers, but they also need items like shower shoes and toothbrushes and things like that. The only way we are able to do this and start to instill that servant heart in our children is through your contributions, through the hours that you donate to volunteering with us and through your financial gifts. So we thank you for that.